A makeup serves a number of purposes besides making one look good on stage. Makeup is an important aid for the performer as it can create an appearance of youth, age, health and even gender. A good makeup design can form an integral part of an actor's characterization. Makeup is also necessary because the bright theatrical lighting drains the color and flattens the features of the face of an actor. The traditional stage makeup used to counteract such ill effects often resembled a mask with its bright coloring and exaggerated eye makeup. Remarkable advances in theatrical lighting have been made in the modern times and it has become necessary for makeup to keep up with these changes. Sage Bharata, in his monumental work Nachi Shastra, elaborated four kinds of histrionic expressions. Angikam Bhonam Yasya, the expression through body and its movements. Vachikam Saravangmayam, the expression through voice and speech. Aharyam Chandratarad, expression through makeup and costumes. Pam Vande Satvikam Sivam expression through responsive emotional reactions. When a character enters on stage, the form and figure, that is the makeup and costumes, attract the audience, followed by movement, voice and speech, etc. The materials used in makeup are many in wide range of colors, sizes and shapes. They include creams for foundation makeup in different colors and tinges. They are available in tubes, cakes, paste, liquids and powders. Brushes of various sizes and sharpness, pencils of different colors, lipsticks, creep hair, spint gum, scissors and other materials and tools occupy the makeup table. Makeup application is of two types depending upon the materials used. One is oil-based cream makeup in which greasy creams are used for foundation and the second one is water-based makeup. Water-based makeup was originally developed as body makeup which is not greasy and it is not necessary to apply setting powder after the foundation makeup which is must in oil-based cream makeup. Professor S. Anjibabu, the well-known makeup artist in India, is demonstrating the art of makeup of a character. The face of the actor is cleared with a non-oily cleanser. The makeup artist studies the form, shape, lives, folds and construction of the face of the actor. Then he selects a foundation color to match the skin of the actor's face. He picks the color with a latex sponge from the tray or dim container and apply the same to the face by dabbing along the cheekbones, nose, forehead and jaw. He blends together for a full and even coverage. Now the face is ready for shading. The colors are selected about two shades lighter and darker than the base colors to give required shading to blend into the receding planes of the face such as the sides of the nose and the underside of the cheekbone. The bone structures are highlighted with lighter shades. The eyebrows and eyelashes are highlighted with black tinge by using sharp brushes.
The original moustaches of the actor are touched with the black color. The rose color on cheekbones, chin and nose is applied to complete the beautification. The lips of the actor are dried up with the help of a blotting paper and the lipstick in selected color is applied. The wrinkles on each side of the nose are touched to complete the process of straight makeup. In the course of an individual's life, his face changes. The facial muscles slacken with increasing age, wrinkles become more prominently visible and the shape of the skull becomes more pronounced. This is all to be taken into account when with younger actors, the contours, shades and lines must be specially worked in while making him into an older man. Dark shades are used to start the character makeup. These shades are obtained by mixing different colors. Wrinkles are highlighted by using black or brown colors or color pencils. The color of the hair is changed to smite by using white color paste. The black moustache may be colored in tune with the color of the hair or ready-made colored moustaches are attached with spirit gum on the existing moustaches. A wet cloth is used to fix it and to dry up the spirit gum. White color is sprayed if necessary on the hair and it is evenly combed. Excess is removed with a sponge piece. The wrinkles on the face are again touched up to get the appearance of an old man. The skin is also touched up at selected and required areas on the face.
the teeth are blackened to get the appearance of an old rural character. A talented makeup artist can bring a lot of special effects on the face of the actor according to the need and requirement. By using gel, fixed skin, a makeup artist can create effects which make a very powerful impression. It is effective for use in simulating wounds, cuts, burns, large scars and similar effects. But here, the makeup artist is creating a special effect by using a small tissue paper by pasting it with gum on the left side of the actor's face. The paper is evenly fixed with the help of a sponge piece choked in white cream. The wet paper is dried up by using dryer. The skin color is applied on the paper and on that thick red color is applied with sponge to get the effect of burnt face with blood stains. The field of the burnt skin is adjusted to irregular levels and shapes. Red, black and brown colors are strategically applied and black shades are given to get the effect of a burnt skin. The oozing of blood from the mouth is created and tears are made possible by using drops of glycerin in the eyes of the actor. Bharatamuni has detailed three styles of making up the characters. If an actor has got the character fitness to do a particular character, that is, a 20 years old man doing the character of the same age, the makeup is called Anurupa. If a woman takes up the man's character, or if a man takes up a woman's character, then the makeup is called Rupa Anurupa. 
If an old man takes up an younger character, and then if a young man takes an older character, then the makeup is called virupa. Makeup is a big process and very difficult while creating some mythological characters from Indian epics. The characters of heroes, villains, and particularly the demons consume lot of effort and time to make up. Indigenous colors, wigs, and ornaments are used to create those illusionary characters to the delight of the audience by the performers who entertain the small audience with the presentation of mythological plays. Theatre dies every night to have a rebirth on the next evening and so the makeup.